1, 2, 3, 4. You know, I really do love you, sweetheart. I'm so glad that we're still attracted to each other. My girlfriend, Mary, can't even stand to be in the same room with Bill anymore. I love this boring new book. Great writer. Hello? Hey, you're sleeping, and I feel like vacuuming the whole neighborhood. Talk to me. Okay, tell me about your boring new book. What's that supposed to mean? You said it was boring. I'd love to hear about it. No need to get smart out of key, mister. I want to talk. I don't believe you. Never mind. I'd rather read. I'm confused. I said I wanted to talk, so let's talk. Stop patronizing me. Seriously. Oh, hell. So now you're not going to talk? I thought you wanted to read. You just don't know me, do you? Apparently not. God, why are you crying? What did I do? I'm not crying. I don't think you really love me. Of course I love you. Why in the hell would I marry you? What do you take me for? Engage, you're such a mute. It's like you're not even here. Jeez, I was just trying to sleep. Why are you making this so complicated? Can you tell me, right now, what you love about me? Well, everything. You're beautiful, you're smart and funny, you're great with the kids, you know. But you can't tell me specifically why you love me, can you? I thought I just did. I'm going out for a beer. Good, I can finally read. Specifically why I love her. What the hell does that mean? I just, I don't know how to argue with it. She nails me with the first thing, then while I'm trying to wrap my head around that, she's already moved on to the fourth and fifth thing. Mm. The more frustrated I get, the more tired I sound. The more tired I sound, the more you prove her point. Exactly. Wives. You guys good? Two more. If my wife here, I'll go out of my way not to notice that. Then, I'll get in trouble for trying to her not to see it. I mean, what the hell? How long have you guys been together? Since 11th grade. Whoa. Why do you love her? You make it sound like she does nothing but torture you. Maybe I really don't know. Give me your keys, I'll drive. Okay, now, try to remember what you first loved about her. Details, they love details. I thought you were smoking hot. Okay, good. Then remind her that she still looks like she did when you first met. Women love to be complimented on their looks. That it? Have kids? Yeah, too. Then let her know how much you appreciate her sacrifice for you. Women love to be appreciated. Okay, got it. I love you because you look like the girl I dated in high school. What? No, you. You're the girl from high school. Keep going. Who are you talking to? Thank you for cutting yourself open. Thank you for giving birth to our two beautiful children. Cutting yourself open like that is not something I take lightly. So. Let's just start this over. Yeah, they're complicated. 
Never had much luck with them. What? I thought you were married. No. Live with my mother. Starting a date, though. Just signed on to Free Harmony. Why'd you bring me here? You seemed like a sad sack. And I needed a ride. Ooh. Hey, I've got a split. My mom just screwed up her med skin. Don't worry, I'll walk. I don't live too far. Oh man, what do I do now? Just speak from your heart, buddy. Detail. I love it when you read to my little girl in a silly voice. I love it when you sing. I love it when you make each one of my kids retell their day. I love it when you cook for me. I love it when you put on makeup. I love when you wear sundresses. I love you when you've been in the garden and you come to the house smelling like lavender and rosemary. I love that you get totally plastered after three sips of wine. You're right. I don't pay attention. I am trying to speed through my life. And if I do stop and live in the moment, I get freaked out that I haven't earned the right to enjoy it. I don't know. Forgive me. I'm really not equipped to be married. I just know that I love you and feel sick and lonely at the thought of not being with you. I just hate you. Get up here. Huh? I said get up here. I guess the pain really started when I realized my dad never really spoke to me. I mean, he spoke, but he didn't really want to talk. You know. Honey. Honey, I want to talk. Well, I don't know what I'm looking for, but I know that I just want to look some more. And I won't be satisfied till there's nothing left that I have. Try. For some people it's an easy choice, but for me